Hey YouTube, welcome to another video review. Today I'll be having a look at the new VS series in Corsair's lineup of power supplies, which comes in 350, 450, 550 and 650 watt models. Quickly looking at the front here, as you can probably guess from the name, I have the 550 watt model here. Corsair mentions that this power supply features the standard 120mm fan, which should ensure cool and quiet operation. Corsair claims that this power supply has up to 85% efficiency, although I found it strange that there were no signs to su suggest that this unit is 80 plus bronze certified. This may have been done to reduce development costs in order to provide better value for the end consumer. Finally, Corsair provides a 3 year warranty which is pretty extensive for an entry level product. So we'll see if this can hold up to Corsair's reputation for producing high quality power supplies. Flipping around to the back we get a list of connectors that the power supply features. Of course this unit complies with the latest ATX version 2.3 specifications. Moving down we see that the internal 120mm cooling fan is thermally controlled and only starts to ramp up in speed after 50% load. This is an awesome feature and one which you will see on pretty much all Corsair power supplies today. Underneath this we get a graph showing on average the power supply will be about 85% efficient across all loads. Again there is no mention of 80 plus bronze certification. Finally onto the amperage ratings. On the label here we can see that the 3.3V and the 5V rail can supply 18 amps. The VS550 features a single 12V rail design which can supply up to 42 amps, while the minus 12V and 5V standby rail supply 0.3 amps and 2.5 amps respectively. It is great to see that even this entry level product has a single 12V rail which can supply over 40 amps. This is plenty for almost all entry to mid range single graphics card setups. One thing I did notice is that the VS series is actually only compatible with 220 to 240 mains voltages, which is fine here in Australia and some other countries, but unfortunately it is unlikely that you'll find this being sold on the US market. This is also probably why I couldn't find any existing reviews for this power supply on the internet, so I'm proud to bring you the first overview and unboxing, which I'll get onto now. Opening the box, we get a nice beefy mains cable, four black screws, some warranty and safety information as well as the power supply itself which is nicely tucked away in the bubble wrap. Taking a closer look at the attached cables now we get an ATX24 pin and an EPS8 pin which are both 55 centimeters long. Two PCI Express 6 plus 2 pin cables which are 45 centimeters long 4 SATA power, 4 Molex, and 2 floppy connectors. All the cables have been nicely sleeved in black and decent effort has been put into the heat shrinking, something which I don't commonly see in most entry level power supplies. As you can expect from Corsair, the unit itself has an excellent black powder coated finish which gives it that distinctive quality look. The labels on the sides have been cleverly placed so that they remain upright regardless of how you want to mount the power supply. As mentioned before we get our 120mm cooling fan on the bottom. I would have liked to see this entire area cut out and replaced with a fan grill as you will typically find on other power supplies but there is adequate ventilation here and the internal components aren't going to be starved of air. Finally on the back we have more ventilation for exhausting the hot air out of the case and an on off switch which has been moved from its regular spot to here. During operation I found the power supply to be very quiet even during full load testing of the computer. And I am happy to say that this unit lives up to Corsair's claims for providing adequate power efficiently. The VS series provides exceptional quality considering the price point that it comes in and subsequently it is now the preferred power supply used in the entry level and mid-range builds which can be found on our website. 
Finally, thank you all for watching the first review on the new Corsair VS series. I hope my video has helped you choose a power supply for your next build. As always, be sure to like, subscribe and leave your comments below and I'll answer your questions as soon as I can. For now, see you next time.